So you're on the Nike website, you come across a nice pair of sweatpants or joggers called Nike Tech Fleece Jogger Pants. So in this video, we're gonna discuss if they are worth it or not. We're gonna go over a few pros and cons and we're gonna do it quickly. Honestly, there should be more content like this out there on my channel included, very to the point, clothing and sneaker content that helps you make your buying decision. So what I've got here is a pair of Nike Tech Fleece jogger pants in the original gray color. Now, right from the jump, let's get into it. Do I think spending $110 on these pants is worth it? No, no, no. Before I tell you the bad, let's get into the good. This is a fresh pair that I got, I don't know, a few months ago. And man, when you get these in and you put them on, there are no sweatpants that feel like it. The material is a cotton polyester blend that is super soft to the touch. As soon as you grab it off the rack or unbox it or unbag it, you're like, damn, this is some soft stuff. When you get that full Nike Tech Fleece jogger set up on with the hoodie included, you don't want to take it off. It feels glorious. It's lightweight, which is good for walking, running, and just in general. So comfort, great. How about the fit? This tailored, streamlined, modern, tapered fit is it good on the Nike Tech Fleece pants? Yes, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> That's all the good stuff, let's get into the bad. Price point, you know, $110 for sweats, that is very expensive. Now, my personal opinion, would I spend over $110 on a pair of sweats? Yes, I would. Would I hesitate? Yeah, I'd have to make sure that that was gonna be worth it. When it comes to pants and shorts, before I buy something, I look in my closet and I'm like, all right, do I have something like this? Price is always iffy because it's really up to you. Does spending $100 on a pair of sweats mean nothing? You do that all the time, no biggie then this is not really a big factor for you. However, these do go on sale and pretty often. So if you do enough digging and hunting, you can find these on sale. You can get these right now for around $85. If you're interested, check below. Price aside, let's dig deeper. Material, does it hold up over time? Immediately, I will tell you this, no, these pants started pilling eight or nine months after I got them. You know, if you're gonna spend over $100 on sweats, you're gonna expect for those to be in your closet for a while. Next, very important here, the fit. How did the fit hold up over time? And you might be like, what do you mean? Like when you get a pair of sweatpants, that's how they fit forever. No. The taper on these is very aggressive. They are a skinny fit pair of joggers. If that's not your style, then these are not for you, straight up. They're designed to show off your shoe. Do they stay tapered over time and still give you that same look? No, they don't. This pair completely lost its shape. Like, I don't even know what that is. The thighs got as wide as a mailbox. This knee area that has a separate panel to help with that tapered look, they like poke out like a potato, and the cuff at the bottom got super stretched out. So if you're gonna have a pair of joggers like this, you want them to at least be somewhat tight around your ankle. Nobody's wearing baggy, cuffed joggers. It really defeats the purpose if this thing is like going over the tongue of your shoe. Also, the crotch area totally bottomed out, so it's kinda like a drop crotch, like the old fog sweatpants used to be, and I don't really like that look. The fit over time, no bueno, and it got to this point somewhat quick. Now, I will say this, they did make a few updates. I believe this material is somewhat different than this pair is. And then lastly, let's get into the function. There's this huge pocket on the right side that you can fit anything in you want. Groceries, Timberland boots, your sidekick, your car keys, whatever it is, it's gonna fit in this pocket. But over time, that pocket pretty much just extends down to your ankle. I got a hole in the right side pretty quick, which leaves me with the left pocket, which is pretty shallow. The draw cord on this pair has metal tips. I lost one of the metal tips either in the wash or I don't know, it just, it came off. Same thing with the zipper on the right side, but they have updated this to rubber. After all that, I do not think that Nike Tech Fleece are worth $110. Do I think they're worth 85, which they're on sale for right now? 
debatable. My recommendation, if you can get them for 50% off, they're worth it. It's hard to find, but if you do some hunting, you can definitely find them for cheap. So hit the comment section and let me know how your Nike Tech Fleece has held up. Would you spend $110 on these pants again? So I'm out of here. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Eddie Wink Kicks. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.